not tired just few questions i want to ask you today is the seventh day of navina that's what father made an announcement we have had several themes for us to reflect how many years of existence of catholic faith in this place sita fal mandi since how many years this faith exists anybody because some of us claim we are aadi christavargal aa kaalam nundi mem christavulu ikkada unnamo ani goppaga cheptuntu untam oka chinna prashna ikkada vishwasam enni samasthralaga undi since how many years yetane varadangalaga namadu vishwasam ingu veru undirukkindrathu anybody okay i'll simplify the question this parish was erected now how many years do we have as a parish in this place 40 years wonderful give a clap to that little one who said the answer i'm so happy and proud of you 40 years definitely prior to that 40 years maybe hundreds of years people were living our faith was there no doubts about it since 40 years we have been having this every year annual novena is it necessary nine days of prayer is it necessary and father takes so much pain in consultation with all of you prepares different different themes to reflect and i am given a very uh, tough theme today to reflect mother treasure okay we go into that my question again is it necessary to have this novena every sunday every day we have mass why this specific novena one side dialogue doesn't work well i can speak something and move away when you interact with me when i interact with you something gets registered that will help you to cherish and remember that's why i invite you to respond why do we have this novena for 9 days i'm happy some voice is coming please little louder to know more about mother mary every day we listen every day we participate but in this 9 days little more in detail we want to know very good any other reason yes sir to keep the faith going that's what sir says wonderful behind i'm sorry please it is a special occasion to celebrate our love to mother mary and her love towards us am i right that's good anybody else yes i'm sorry i can't hear who's it again the same girl please to be thankful for god's protection through mother mary wonderful any other to honor very nice sister something nice answer is coming out wonderful please go ahead it is a special preparation to celebrate god's protection in our lives a special preparation how is our preparation since sister said that question uh, answer how is this preparation are we focusing on external preparation or internal preparation both are needed and i'm sure sita falmandi parish is blessed indeed and i've seen several celebrations here to have exceptionally extravaganza celebration also and i'm no for certain all of you are spiritually also motivated and prepare yourselves to experience 
mother's blessings through mother divine blessings both the preparations i see now in the second aspect of preparation you need to answer for yourself and to god not to me seven days are over already how many of us online with this preparation online with this special theme reflection have we ever been touched to go for confession are we touched to go for a confession to cleanse ourselves spiritually could be yes it could be no you know and god knows rest 3 days or intense days that god has given us along with all other external preparations these 9 days of special reflections are an invitation for us to interiorize to enter into our own core essence of our existence and to see are we in darkness or are we in light definitely at times bright light at times darkness a times cloudy situation we encounter these special days are meant for us to go into ourselves along with the theme and understand where we stand can we rise up make one attempt that jesus given us this beautiful sacrament of reconciliation that we may cleanse our soul and have the joyfulness to give honor thanks to mother mary and through her adore the triune god that should be our focus on which we are coming for this nine days of novena coming to today's theme beautifully depicted what's it can you read mother of treasure okay when we say treasure we can understand in two levels treasure is something hidden we go in search discover when we find we are rejoicing about it that is discovering another thing about treasure is a treasure which is already existing within each one of us we need to discover self discovery with the guidance of god and then understand how precious each one of us in the sight of god now with regard to mother mary mary treasured everything in her heart we read this in the gospels mary treasured everything in her heart what is that she treasured the very selection of mother sinless woman and when the angel appeared and told about her selection to become the mother of god she was perplexed she does not know that she is chosen for something greater she never understood the mystery but she offered and she started reflecting and when the child was born baby jesus when the shepherds came to worship her she was still awestricken she treasured everything in her heart when the call came to flee to egypt she never grumbled she walked along with joseph hills valleys struggles but she treasured everything in her heart and later at the age of 12 all of us know when jesus was lost when they went and encountered jesus when jesus tells why did you search for me don't you know that i have to be busy with my father's work mother was bewildered at that statement perhaps but she kept everything in her heart and she treasured 
and later in the life of jesus in the public ministry when they called him madman her heart was pained but she treasured it when he was crucified when he was on the cross no mother would like to see a son in that state but she had to see she treasured it when jesus on the cross looking at mother for the first time and tells her behold your son because jesus knew she is having the richness of treasure and that's why jesus entrusts through john all of us into her care to her treasury and then later her crucial son died brought in her arms and later laid to rest and when he was ro- rise risen again all these incidents only made her to keep reflecting and pondering we need to understand saint methodius says like this to mother mary hail treasure of god the father hail the treasure of god the father mary is a treasure of all the most beautiful extraordinary precious both in heaven on earth in time and in eternity everything is covered in herself and that's why she is such a treasure that father has given to you and me mary is privileged because of her special relationship with the triune god she is the daughter of the father she is the spouse of the holy spirit she is the mother of jesus son of god mary is privileged because she is chosen to be brought into this world sinless because she is chosen and brought into this world sinless she remains calm composed in spite of joys and sorrows that she encountered in her life's journey mother mary's remaining calm status is purely because her heart was focused on the triune god every day you and i in our life's journey we encounter new situations we come across new opportunities we come across new energizing situation a new life in all these situations at times we be excited at times we be dull and slow in whatever situation we are if our heart is focused on like mother mary on the triune god we will be able to experience her care and love in our life's journey the second thing i want to tell you about mother is how can we boldly declare mother is a treasure there is certain base for us to declare and understand that mother is a treasure she is a treasure because of her infinite image of the divine goodness that she carried in her life st augustine says there is no heart capable of conceiving these marvelous treasures but for mother mary that is the beauty of mother mary therefore we see the divine mary who is a hidden treasure in the spirit and in the heart of 
the eternal father who has valued her and she he chose her and he made her a special treasure for the whole universe the second reason what why we call mother is a treasure is because she contains every love of the eternal father what is this every love there are three loves that we can see of the father the infinite love of the father he bears towards his son the infinite love that he manifests towards his son and second love is father's incommensurable love towards the holy spirit the third love is father's ardent love towards angels and saints and all the creatures that he created and now father bestows a special love to mother mary and gives her the special treasure of his own love to really live in this world and get connected to the people and she receives the treasure not for herself or not for our glory rather to bring the whole universe to the heart of his father to the heart of mother mary's father's love and that is why in her richness of treasure anybody goes he cannot but draw the springs of compassionate love and blessings of her son she manifests and she provides and that is the greatness of mother in our life and she is such a wonderful blessing that we are given in today's world she is called to be a treasure because god chose her to be a vessel to conceive her only son into this world therefore she becomes a treasure for all of us nine months she bore the beloved son of the god the father and she brings forth for only one purpose to redeem you and me the act of redemption of you and me comes because of mother mary's yes because god treasured her to become a blessing and she has been a great lover of father lover of holy spirit her spouse lover of her own son who in written engulfs everyone and comes before us to attract like a magnet and take us towards the father son and the holy spirit the triune god my brothers and sisters saint bonaventure about this treasure about mother mary it tells a prosperous mother was the keys to the treasury of the blessed trinity a beautiful statement a prosperous mother who has the key to the treasury of the blessed trinity the ultimate thing is the blessed trinity to that treasury mother has the key mother has the access mother can walk in dwell and live move in and around of the trinity such a big blessing she received and she is our protector and she is our patroness and she is our guide she is our mantle and she is our comfort and solace at every moment of our life she is with us and that treasure we are having within us but how much are we able to recognize how much are we able to realize how much are we able to cherish and relive 
the presence of our mother in our lives. Now all of us will have a question. We have such a wonderful mother as a treasure for us. Now how can I emulate Mary as a treasure in my life? I'm sure all of us will have this question. How can I emulate Mother Mary as my treasure? I give you a few simple tips, practical. Every day, if you can take time off and reflect mother's life from her conception, from her yes, her journey, her suffering, her joyfulness, if you can take little time away and reflect how God works wonders through her to you and me, you will discover within yourself how mother works in us to relive and to discover God's treasure within us. Another tip I would like to give you. Allow Mary's yes to God into your life. If you allow her yes in your life also yes lord i am here let your will be done in my life if this could be our prayer every day rather than asking for this asking for that asking for this and that instead if you can say let thy will be done i surrender as mary offered that humility, if we can develop, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, God's rich treasure that he has kept in each one of us, we can unfold them. We can rediscover the treasure of God within us. The third that I would like to suggest is to emulate Mother Mary's treasure is in our journey, we encounter emptiness. In our emptiness, if we can see how Mother Mary was passing through the journey of struggles, how she understood God's will in her life, how she allowed the Spirit to work in her life, and she found the treasure of Trinity in her life, if we can have that composition in our difficult moments, in our crisis moments, in our struggles, if we can become a person of discovering Jesus through Mother Mary in our emptiness and struggles, I tell you, we will be able to enjoy the rich treasure that God has given to you and me. Now the last thing that I want to tell you is, Mary as a treasure comes to our rescue at all moments. She is ever ready to come into us. How she comes to us? She comes because of her deep, intimate relationship of love that she enjoys with the triune God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The depth intimacy enables her not to make her children suffer. And she comes to us. She's in and around us. She's in our family. She's in our crisis struggles when we are bitterly crying. She's there with us. When we are misunderstood, she's there with us. But we fail to open up our spiritual eyes and look at her presence. That happens because we are agitated, we are conditioned, we are limiting ourselves to our own understanding. If we can break through and go a little beyond and see, there you'll understand how mother is waiting to come to us to rescue us. Another thing we need to understand, Mother Mary is all around us whenever we are faced with challenges of life. She's there to lift you 
she is there to understand you she is there to support you provided you are able to discover this treasure of mother mary who is in you who is in and around you if you discover mother as a treasure then you would have discovered her treasure the trinitarian god who is there in us if we can relive really this life definitely will be able to enjoy the rich treasure that is being provided to us by triune god in our life through mother mary today's first reading abraham absolute faith in god he obeyed and walked as for god's command to offer his son he went because he knew his heart was in the father's heart he knew his father yahweh will not disown him he knew his father will provide a lamb for the sacrifice that confidence he had and he walked how many of us can have that confidence it is possible for us to have that confidence and trust if we can relive the treasures that we received in the sacrament of baptism and enrich our faith definitely we will find the treasures in our journey in today's gospel the man was crippled and he could not help himself four men come take him to jesus christ by ourselves we cannot become successful but with the assistance and help of everybody we can become somebody great in order to allow someone to enter into our lives to support us we need to have that composition to allow them not to discard them not to differentiate them rather see in them the treasure of god that god's grace will flow into us let us humble today for not discovering the rich treasure of god's gift to mother mary and to us let us humble today and examine ourselves in this novena god has given us this mother as a treasure i have failed to discover this rich spiritual treasure that is available around me for those moments we have failed let us avail the opportunity of the sacrament of reconciliation go and pour before the lord allow the spirit of god to touch you that you may be cleansed that your eyes be opened to see the rich treasure that is there in you the hidden treasure of divine power that is in you then you will see how blessed how happy how joyful you will be able to lead your life in spite of challenges that you encounter let's close our eyes and pray thank you lord for having chosen mother mary and manifested your love as a treasure mother who has focused her life towards the triune god she engulfed the richness of unconditional compassionate love of father son and holy spirit and she is there for each one of us as a treasure today we are called to rediscover in mother the rich treasure of triune god by discovering the treasure may we be enlightened to understand god's call and god's plan that we may change and mend our lives and become his beloved children through the sacrament of reconciliation be blessed with the spirit be anointed with the grace 
and to challenge the evil elements raise a bow and be a witness to everyone whom we encounter as a rich treasure in this society we make this prayer through christ our lord